Welcome back viewers and welcome to the last segment of business today for today. Now, viewers, we were talking about uh, social media marketing. We talked about um, the EPOS system, how we can use them to our benefit. And there is a lot more to it. Before I finish on the EPOS side, let me just tell you the EPOS system nowadays is so advanced that you can have it done however you want. It will speak your language, in another word. So implement the new technologies, implement the new social media marketing tools, and I'm telling you what, it will make a great benefit to your business. And I don't want to preach you too much on that. Now we're going to go back on to something else. Now, as restaurateurs, and I think this will apply very much to yourselves, you know, there are a lot of organizations out there. Yeah? We have Bangladeshi, Kater, this, that. We have Guild, and we have a lot of organization institutes. Okay. As a business, <coughs> you've got restaurants as well. The same question applies. As businesses, what benefit are you finding from these institutions and organizations? Right, um, especially uh, the restaurant, uh, Bangladeshi restaurant community, maze. Ilan kunu system na ento, ilan kunu community na ay asini. Afna kese laga na ay. Na ay asini. Zudi tumana horka. Ozne earlier on we talked about we need to make something, we need mm. to do something like that. But we I know help. there's quite a few organisations out there for the Bengali. We, we've not. Indian. I've not had enough. Uh, yes, there is. You can, sorry, you can't. How quickly add, add to that? Yeah. But um, are they doing anything for you? I mean, these organisations are out there. I mean, you seem to not even know about it. So that's, <laughs> that tells yeah. me a lot. No, <laughs> not really. I've not had even myself. I mean, I didn't hear anything about it. So. Well, I was, I was going to say about that. I mean, mm. the main reason being, like, like you said, there are organisations out there. There are quite a few organisations out there that help Asian businesses, chambers, etc., caterers associations. Um, but they are there at a standstill. They're not actively, um, or, or I mean, for example, my, my uncles and my brothers, they would know about it. They're not actively helping Asian businesses grow or look at how they need to grow, um, mm. which is one of the reasons why we moved towards online food ordering, um, was to help businesses or to point them in the direction that they need to be looking at to be able to grow. Mm -hmm. um, th this is one of the th key things that I suppose drove us to this business, the next online food ordering company that we've done. Yeah. Um, and we started spreading it to other premises to be able to actively help businesses grow because we see that as, as not happening or a gap naturally. So mm. I, th I think what they were just saying shows that, that we have got organizations there, well, but they need to be doing really more. Doing enough. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. My point is, right, and, and this is no offense to any organization or any institution mm. that are yeah. out there trying to support restaurateurs, but I'm not um, full-time into restaurants myself, uh, so I can't really uh, say that because I gave up the restaurant business and I've got other types of businesses, but my family is still in the business. Yeah. Okay. Um, however, so I see them, um, they're actively involved and they know about the organizations. They're mm. getting some benefits, uh, I feel. Uh, but there is a lot of small to medium businesses that are not getting the benefits, yeah. I feel. Uh, they are not being spoken to, they are not being approached, mm. um, and maybe it's too expensive for them. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of it is, is service orientated. Mm. For example, um, a, a lot of the associations that I've met are offering services like, for example, utility, how can you can get better rates that would help your business grow, etc. Mm. Um, but what I tend to see, these are commission-based services. Now, if these services are offered via the organization, then they might make some commission on it. Mm. Well, I would like to see to help my restaurant business. See an association really actively trying to support rather That's than... It. Yeah. Trying to cross sell yeah. to you, you know, that's another thing, you know. Um, yeah. Like set up maybe a social media company that's independent, runs by itself, that would help. Uh, that, that's, for example, a catering association that would help all the caterers joined up with it with free social media. Or mm. something similar, for example. Um, this this I, I found struggling with my business. Mm. I, I was struggling with social media, putting the time in. Uh, and putting the training in. solutions, They'll training my staff, happen, having yeah. access to where staff are, are found. Um, and better services, etc. Mm. Now, obviously, we've moved to try and do something about it ourselves, um, and we're looking to expand that. But I think there should be a lot, uh, a big, bigger drive um, mm. from some of these associations to help the businesses, mm -hmm. or just to find out about where they're struggling and try and help them move forward. Okay. Now, the question is: a lot of organisations are doing um, award ceremonies. 
uh, chef of the year, restaurant of the year, etc., etc. Uh, what's your uh, um, opinion on these as well? I think it's excellent idea. Uh, mm. Award ceremonies are. Um, um, what is it? Bangladesh, B, what is it? BCA or something? You know, Bangladesh, yeah. British. Yeah. Uh, British Curry Award and yes, um, I mean yes, Curry yes Award they are all there. I mean, I've been in business for the last fifteen years, and so have you, and so have you. I mean, yes, a Curry Award does help our businesses in dramatic ways as well. We okay. talk Can about. I just we ask Mr. Nasheruddin your honest opinion of what do you feel about the awards? Uh, well, I've never been to the, um, like any of these, like a British Curry Award or any any of the any any of the organisation. But my, my brother has been, and he did have the award. And uh, far as I know, I mean, he did have the benefits. Mm. So I would say it's not a it's not a it's not a bad idea, but it's quite good. Yeah, it's good for the business. Good for the business. It's good for business. Uh, I mean, the customers. Opinion. I, I love it, to tell the truth. I, I, I love these shows that they put on. Mm. I, I think it's excellent. Um, it, a lot of business people can get together. They can talk about their experiences, how they're improving the business, how they're not improving their business. But again, um, this is the future. It's not easy as it used to be in the past. You have to work hard. Mm. If you get an award, I think it's great for your business, but you have to work on it, as in advertise it, use social media to get the Tremendous. word out there that you've uh, um, yeah. achieved an award. Mm promote it um, locally and on social media, which is more than local, it's nationally, internationally, and it will make effect. So these are very, very good, and, and these companies should be accredited for what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but again, the industry needs more help. Every individual business needs more help. This is what I feel from everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they should start to try and contact every individual business to see how they can help them or what problems that they might be occurring that they haven't got professional knowledge in or mm. experience or anybody that knows how to sort it out uh, and try and help them individually yeah, try and sort yeah. it out. What I find is, um, I'm going to give you my opinion on this as well, uh, I think the awards is brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, I yeah, know a lot of people brilliant. are saying there's so many award companies out there, oh this one was doing it, he's doing it, he yeah. was doing it. To me, I really don't care. I think it brings benefit to the business does, if yes. you P promote it right. If you promote it right. Yeah, now, right, I've seen many businesses, and we've talked about this a few minutes ago. I've seen many businesses taking awards, putting it onto their shelf, and that's it. Forget about it, yeah. That's not what you do with an no. award. You need to make a big hoo ha about it. Yeah. Because your local people, they may feel that an award is something very prestigious. Yeah. And this is what you need to feel about the award. If whatever award you received, you need to feel that it's very prestigious. It is prestigious. And if it's prestigious yeah. to you, your customers will feel That's it's right. prestigious. That's right. And how you are promoting that. You know, you can take the award and do all sorts of events, uh, maybe one major event to celebrate the yeah, yeah, of receiving of this award with your customers. That will bring uh, back bring to customers you. Uh, yourself, you know, yeah. Have you promoted that on social media properly? You know, there's so many things that can be done. That's excellent. That's mm. exactly what I feel about business itself, by the way. Um, it's what you do with it and how you are. Mm. A lot of people see that they put it on the top shelf, forget about it. Same with the business. Once it's running, that's it. They've done what they need to do and they forget about it. Yeah, that's and, right. and it's starts fail. It shouldn't be like that. Mm. If you're passionate about your award, you'll be passionate about your business. For example, I like to eat good food. We all like to eat good food. If we can, we like nice clean premises. We like to dress good. And that's reflected in my premises. Mm. The award, if I, if I utilize it, if I market it correctly, it'll be reflected in my social media page and my premises again. People love that. They love to see nice clean premises. We enjoy it ourselves and so does everybody else. Mm. So again, you have to put that extra effort in and it always pays. Effort always pays. Yeah, definitely. definitely, definitely. Now, my opinion on the organization and institutions is it's not all bad. You know, they are there. They are trying. Maybe um, membership is an issue. Maybe restaurants are to blame here as well. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they're not uh, becoming members of organizations and institutions or they're not promoting very well to the restaurants. One of them got to be wrong. Otherwise, you know, two people here, you're, you're, you're quite a famous chef. You know, you've worked with Thank many you. different uh, celebrity chefs yourselves and you're not fully aware of these organizations only because you haven't taken interest in them or That's they right. haven't approached I've you. Nobody's yeah? approached me. That's so right. I'm not saying they're, they're at fault or anything. It could be either way. But 
they need to do a bit more. That's right. I, I, I reckon that they need to be more mm. about, uh, yeah, they need to do a bit more. They need to work a little bit more harder okay. than before, before, everyone before knows. Uh, we only got a few minutes uh, before we go into the break, and mm. I want to just add quickly uh, something to it. Now, you've mentioned training. We need some sort of organization. They're providing the full training, the front of house and back of house training. That's right. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? How would you want to implement something like that? Yeah, it's only because we, we recognize sometimes we see our industry is failing. And then, you know, why it should be failing. So this is why I thought if we train our staff, mm. if we train and make new chef, maybe that is the way to forward. Yeah. I'd just like to add to that, that's an awesome way forward, it is excellent. I mean, I've spoken to quite a few of my customer base, um, and we have thought of, for example, okay, um, not giving away the curry industry itself, mm. but um, starting up a, a cookery school, or not Schooling, even a school, yeah. I mean, you're just teaching people how to make a taka dal, maybe, or a sag bhaji. It's not actually teaching them how to make a full tikka masala. It's not like they're going to learn exactly and not ever come back mm. to you again. They will, everybody always goes out and socialize. The biggest the problem we've got is our food is different from restaurants to restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? That's not a problem, it's just it's very regional. Okay? Like Spanish food is yeah. very, very regional. You know, uh, one dish cooked in one part of the country is very different in the other part of the country. That's one of the reasons yeah. why it's very difficult to teach. So that needs to be individual training. But how other ways? That, can that is them? not an issue. We can always cook different, and that's it's not great for business. There'll be a lot of interest. People would want to come and learn, and in the same instance, you can actually train staff. That's right. New staff that you take on, you know, obviously you'd be you'd be showing them more than you probably would have, uh, as if there's like 30 diners in front of you looking to learn a, a taco doll. Um, there's a um, sorry. There's another yeah. small idea as well. I mean, if we if we go back about 20 years or 15 years, like me, you want to come, want to start working, I study as a kitchen porter. Right. And I worked in the kitchen for four, uh, nearly 14 and a half years. So by that time, I left the kitchen. Mm. Obvious, um, okay. I learned most of the curries. I mean, I mean most of the things of the kitchen, mm. what you have to do, I mean, as a chef. I've been a chef myself as well. So uh, I would say that, um, I mean, the easiest way, I mean, if you want to get um, uh, someone from other communi um, community, like any other country people, like either Pakistani, Indian, or any European countries, the easiest way to get the person like me as a study of the kitchen mm. porter so starting from kitchen from porter slowly to top, from yeah. bottom to yeah. top yeah. slowly okay. slowly slowly to unfortunately finish it here we are really short of time thank you very much gents once again we conclude our second part of the show the and then yet again we still got loads to cover and now viewers uh, once again um, i want to thank everybody at ntv my guest you the viewers and everybody working behind so hard to put this live now Viewers, once again, Mr. Farso Ahmed Chaudhry, our business coordinator, uh, business today's coordinator, put the guest once again in back here in London at the studio, and I want to thank him for doing that and bringing new um, guests on board. Now, viewers, if you want to watch YouTube um, previous shows, please go on to YouTube online, uh, YouTube, and search NTV Europe or Business Today and then you'll see all the last episodes. And also, if you want to watch any shows live, you can do so on our uh, website, which is www.europentv.com, and you can watch us live streaming. Now, if you have any questions regarding this show, or if you've got a guest in mind that you, you want me to invite onto the show, please let us know. Email us at um, businesstoday at europentv.com. That's businesstoday at europentv.com. So that's it for today. Remember, until next time, tomorrow's business is business today.